All right, uh, I was having some trouble trying to figure out uh, how to use uh, navigation in Godot 4. Then I realized it's actually easier than I thought. So uh, to start, I have my environment, which is my map. Uh, they're inside an O3D just for convenience. Uh, but don't, don't worry about that because it'll work anyway. So I just need to create um, a navigation region 3D. Move my environment right below it. And basically that's it. Okay. You just click bake navigation mesh. Oops. Okay. Uh, first, don't forget to create your navigation mesh. Just click here. You have a lot of uh, configurations and settings uh, you can mess with, but for the purposes of this video, you just need to click here. Okay. Bake navigation mesh. Your navigation is ready to go and ready to use. Okay. So this is my enemy, some kind of alien, very a very PlayStation-like model. Anyway, you just need to create a um, navigation agent 3D node, which is this one here. Then uh, don't forget to make a reference for it. And in our process function, you just need to do that. You know, four lines of code, actually. You get, you set a target position your navigation agent, which is in my case, a player position. And then you get the next path uh, to which uh, the character will move. So after that, you get a direction, you just uh, get the next path position minus our position, which is the enemy's origin. Then you apply this direction normalized to your character. My process function is a bit different, uh, but this is actually uh, just a state for physics process. So if you want to check uh, more information about that, just go to this article in Godot's documentation using navigation agents. And here you have a lot of information about uh, how navigation actually works and it'll be very helpful, especially if you want to create more complex routines or very complex AI, this will be very helpful. So let's see uh, how my code actually works. Here we go. Uh, the alien uh, will chase me once he sees me. So, okay, he saw me, he's following me. So we create a very simple, sim simple and clean code and it works perfectly. So let's kill it. It's dead. It's over. Thank you for watching and see you guys on the next one.